So Meta launched their supposed Twitter killer called Threads on Wednesday, and it is apparently already a massive success, with Mark Zuckerberg announcing that 30 million people have already signed up. Now, having signed up for it myself, I've got to say just my first impression is that I like it. It has potential. There's certainly more work that needs to be done to get it on Twitter's level, but it's still really good. And most importantly, it's not run by Elon Musk. I get it. It's still run by Mark Zuckerberg, which is not ideal, but I would prefer him to Musk at this point. That's how little faith I have in Elon Musk. By the way, feel free to follow me on threads. I'm Mike.Figueredo. But putting aside my shameless self-promotion here for a moment, it was really evident that Elon Musk immediately felt threatened by this new competitor, and he threw some shade their way. But to be fair to him, it wasn't like he was unprovoked. So Meta's chief product officer explicitly said that threads was Meta's, quote, response to Twitter, and took a pot shot at Elon Musk last month saying, quote, we've been hearing from creators and public figures who are interested in having a platform that is sanely run, ouch, that they believe that they can trust and rely upon for distribution. Now, Cox made that comment to a crowd of people and they erupted in cheers when he said that. So if you're Elon Musk, that's got to sting a little bit, right? Now, he responded in a semi-viral tweet from a Twitter user pointing out that Threads collects your data and he said, thank goodness they're so sanely run. So obviously that comment is, you know, it, it hurt him a little bit, right? Now, in response to Jack Dorsey, Twitter's original founder, pointing this out too, Elon Musk simply responded saying, yeah. But as tech journalist Matt Bender pointed out, Twitter collects the same data. Now, to be fair to him, even though he owns the platform, I honestly don't know if he's smart enough to to know that they collect that data as well. So I can't necessarily just chalk it up to hypocrisy, um, but that's not really a defense for Elon Musk. He's either hypocritical or dumb. Either way, it's not a good look, but regardless, Elon Musk is not a fan of this new competitor. And the most insane part about all of this is that he is already threatening to sue them. Just one day after Threads launched. You can't make this shit up. So as HuffPost reports, a Silicon Valley legal firm representing X Corp, that's Twitter's parent company, by the way, all of these tech giants have dumb fucking parent company names, but regardless, claimed in a letter first reported by Semaphore that Meta had engaged in systematic, willful, and unlawful misappropriation of Twitter's trade secrets and other intellectual property by poaching its employees. Musk kicked off his tenure as head of Twitter by slashing the company's payroll by at least three quarters, leaving thousands out of a job. Now, some of the former Twitter employees have apparently found work at Meta, according to the letter to Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg that was dated Wednesday. In a statement, however, Meta pushed back against the accusations, saying that there had been no impropriety. No one on the Threads engineering team is a former Twitter employee. That's just not a thing, company spokesperson Andy Stone said. The letter to Zuckerberg had specifically alleged that Meta deliberately assigned former Twitter employees to develop in a matter of months Meta's copycat Threads app with the specific intent that they use Twitter's trade secrets and other intellectual property in order to accelerate the development of Meta's competing app in violation of both state and federal law as well as those employees' ongoing obligations to Twitter. It instructed his company to preserve any documents that could be relevant to the dispute. Now, in response to this story, Musk commented on the legal threat on Twitter, saying, competition is fine, cheating is not. And he also commented on the photo of Imes from Zuckerberg, where he called Harvard students who submitted information to him because they trust him, quote, dumb fucks. And while I can't confirm that this is the actual screenshot of the I'm, this is indeed something that Zuckerberg said verbatim. So I'll link to that down below if you want to learn more. But the shit talking didn't end there because someone reacted to the lack of a following tab on threads. And Jack Dorsey responded to that saying, not surprising, they've never given people the choice to remove the algorithm, look at Instagram. And Musk then responded to Dorsey saying, a closed source algorithm only system means that manipulation of what information people see is essentially undetectable. And again, he commented on the specific types of data that Threads collects. So he's very clearly seething about the success of Threads. And let me just properly paint this picture for you. So as he is semi-rage tweeting about threads, not really rage tweeting, but he's posting through it, right? He's feeling 
some feelings because of this successful platform. Uh, as all of that's happening on his own platform, guess what's trending? It's threads, along with Jimmy Dore and Anna Kasparian. But the point is that <laughs> threads is trending on his platform. So he is very salty and you love to see it. Now, people's privacy concerns are absolutely valid. And I feel like it's worthwhile to reiterate that Elon Musk, however, needs to lead by example on this front, right? Because you can't criticize threads for something without looking like a hypocrite if Twitter engages in the same practices. Second of all, I think that most consumers already know that these tech companies, they really don't respect our data, our privacy. They sell our data to advertisers all the time. And I think that at this point, most of us know the risks. But despite those risks and concerns, 30 million people still signed up anyways, even though none of us trust Facebook anymore. Because... We wanted some type of communication platform akin to Twitter without the toxicity, without Elon Musk specifically. And this is a serious competitor. Musk is going to continue to cope and see that, imagine, because this is this is huge, right? Now, to be fair, Threads is not the only Twitter competitor. There is Spill, for example, which is a Twitter alternative created by former Twitter engineers, and that is a popular alternative to Black Twitter. Blue Sky is another alternative that has attracted popular shit posters on Twitter, along with a lot of lefties and trans people. And then there's also Mastodon, which I don't necessarily understand myself, but still that platform has attracted millions of Twitter refugees. But out of all of the most popular Twitter alternatives, so far, I mean, you can't even question it. Threads has quickly secured its spot as the biggest Twitter competitor. And this was expected because love them or hate them, Meta has a lot of clout within this tech industry. And even if it never actually overtakes Twitter, even if it fizzles out at some point, just knowing that Elon Musk is sweating and seething as much as he already is, has already made the existence of this app worthwhile in my opinion. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Wo